This is what the largest rivers look like on the world map. It is very similar to the circulatory system of a living organism. Indeed, a river basin is a distinct living organism that begins its journey from glaciers and mountains, is fed by left and right tributaries, fills lakes and swamps, and then flows into the sea or ocean. What if a river basin became a standalone country? How many people would live there? How powerful will their economy be? Which cities will be the main ones? Let's take a look at the top 20 most populated river basins. The 20th is the Dnipro, one of the largest river in Eastern Europe. The river basin is home to about 30 million people. The area of 510,000 square kilometers, covering 45% of the territory of Ukraine, covers most of Belarus, as well as three regions of the Russian Federation. The capital of the basin will be Kyiv, with the main port in Kherson. Other major cities are Minsk, Dnipro, and Zaporizhia. The annual nominal GDP of such a country will reach 164 billion US dollars, or 5,466 per person. Let's move on. The St. Lawrence River, whose basin includes the Great Lakes, is in 19th place. The population of the basin is 45 million people. This country would have about 20% of all fresh water on the planet. The capital of the country is the city of Toronto, which is located in the heart of the basin. Other major cities are Chicago, Montreal, and Ottawa. The GDP of such a country would reach more than $3 trillion and comparable to United Kingdom. And in terms of per capita, this country is the leader of our rating. The Euphrates Valley was home to one of the world's oldest civilizations. These lands used to be called Mesopotamia, and now, they cover the territory of seven countries. Iran, almost all of Iraq, a small part of Jordan, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, half of Syria, and southeastern Turkey. The capital of this country is Baghdad one of the oldest cities in the world. Main cities, Basra, Mosul, Gaziantep, Erbil. The 17th place is occupied by the Volga River, with a population of 57 million people. This is 40% of the total population of Russia. The nominal GDP would amount to $630 billion, which is comparable to the economy of Belgium. The city of Kazan is suitable for the role of capital. Largest cities, Moscow, Nizhny Novgorod, Samara. This is the only country in our ranking that is landlocked. The Rhine Basin is in 16th place. The area of the basin is small compared to other rivers but the population density is very high, 300 inhabitants per one square kilometer. It would seem that the Rhine does not completely cover any of the European countries, but this is not the case. Luxembourg and Liechtenstein are located entirely in the Rhine Valley. The economy of the Rhine Basin is commensurate with that of France, almost $3 trillion. This country would have the largest port in Europe, Rotterdam, at its disposal. I have chosen Frankfurt as the capital, although Strasbourg or Cologne may be more suitable. If you live in this region, please write in a comment which city should be the capital. The Godavari is one of the largest rivers in India. Its basin is entirely located within India. The population is about 60 million people. The largest city is Nagpur, but in the heart of the valley is Ramagundam which in my opinion is the best option for the capital. The 14th place goes to Mekong. At first glance, it seems that the basin area is small. However, it is larger than every country in Europe. The river begins in the mountains of China, almost completely covers Laos and Cambodia, and flows into the sea in Vietnam. The capital city is Vientiane and the largest city is Phnom Penh. 
The next in the ranking is another river in India, the Krishna. With a population of 17 million people, Pune and Hyderabad are the largest cities in the basin. The capital will be Raikar, or a city in the heart of the river valley. The twelfth place goes to the Amur. Its basin is located in the far east of Russia, northern China, and partly in Mongolia. Blagoveshensk is the center of the basin, but more than 90% of the Amur's population lives in Harbin, Changchun, and other cities in northern China. The Danube ranks 11th with a population of 83 million people. The river is the most important artery in Europe, and its basin partially or completely covers 15 countries. Surprisingly, only one country in Europe is located entirely within the Danube basin. It is Hungary. The capital of the Danube would be Belgrade. It is near the city that its main tributaries flow into the Danube. The main cities are Bucharest, Budapest, Vienna, and Munich. Few of us have ever thought that from the Black Sea, you can get by ship to Munich, the middle of Europe. During the blockade of the Black Sea by the Russian Navy, the Danube became the main artery for food supplies from Ukraine to Europe. The economy of the Danube is commensurate with that of Italy and amounts to more than $2 trillion. Next in the ranking are the 10 real giants, with a population over 100 million people. I will talk about it in the next part of the video. Subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss it.